So there's been some uh, there's been some mumblings on uh, Twitter about this the past couple of days. Uh, Biden's finally out there campaigning and doing some rally speeches and things of that nature. And there's not been a number of examples of Muslim Americans showing up to a Biden event, going to walk in, getting singled out, picked out of a line, and kicked out, not allowed in the event. It's happened a number of times. Sanaa Saeed, uh, who has also documented some of these examples, and uh, according to her, she says that it looks like some Biden-Harris plants have kind of infiltrated pro-Palestine groups, and they're able to sort of single out who's going to cause a problem and might protest in a rally, and that's why they're getting kicked out. But as you can see here, Trita Parsi shares this. Is the Biden campaign resorting to barring Muslims from attending his campaign events, fearing they will protest against his support of the slaughter in Gaza? And this will convince voters that he is different from Trump? So let me play the video here for you, at least a little bit of it. Because we are choosing who's going in and out of the event. I'm sorry. Why are you choosing us not to go in when we have an invite? Right, you specifically singled us out? <laughs> That's racist. Is it because we have the jobs? I'm happy to talk to so it someone is. else. It is, because it is. that's clearly, okay, I, I was afraid of this. You that's singled us out, out of everybody. What? Isn't out that against Democrats? Whole you singled campaign? Out. That's very Islamophobic. That's very racist. I'm sorry. Are you? You guys can Keep coming through. We have you're an You're part invite. of the LGBT community too, right? And you're still going to kick us out? Come on through. Are you serious? That's crazy. Wow. You're I know I really won't vote right. for her. Biden and Harris. That's crazy. Interesting. And you, and Whose decision is that? Las Vegas. Because we want to talk to them. Okay. Right. Whose decision was this? Come on through. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for being they're here. They're they're racist, Islamophobic, the obviously. And you're being racist. Chicken or something? They're 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 disinviting us because we have hijabs on our heads. That's why people. This is not a democracy. This is disgusting. All right, so it goes on. So, again, the question arises, are they kicking these people out because they, you know, they're wearing hijabs and so they fear, oh, they're going to disagree with Biden on Israel and they might protest his support of the genocide in Gaza because, of course, Biden is arming and funding Netanyahu and has effectively given him a green light behind the scenes, even though he does tut tut in front of the scenes and says, bomb nicer, Netanyahu. Are they looking at them? They see that they're Muslim and they go, "Oh, they're going to cause they're going to cause a problem. They're going to protest. They're going to call out Biden. They're going to disrupt the event and that's why they kick him out." Or is it like literally a broad policy of, "Hey, if somebody looks Muslim, we're just going to assume that they disagree with Biden on Gaza and we're not even going to take the risk." Look, I genuinely don't know the answer to that. I can tell you this, I know that the Biden people have seen the same polls that I've seen where it was 60% support in the Arab and Muslim community for Biden in Michigan, and then now that dropped all the way to 17%. I know that they're aware of the widespread campaign led by many Muslim leaders to say, we're never voting for Biden now. I know they're aware of that. So, look, it almost doesn't matter to me whether they just ban Muslims to their rally or they said, we're only going to single out Muslims who we have evidence will protest, right? Because in either scenario... They're handling it exactly wrong. Exactly wrong. Maybe the reason why you're getting protests at all of your various events over your Gaza policy is because your Gaza policy is atrocious. Because your Gaza policy is green lighting a slaughter. Because your Gaza policy is indefensible. So maybe if you actually listen to the protesters and change course, that might help you in the election. That might save your ass in the election. There's an article that just came out today talking about how um, the Biden team, they, they've given up on Arab and Muslim Americans in Michigan in particular, in that swing state. They feel like we're not going to win them. They're either going to stay home. They're probably going to stay home. And so they're trying to find a different path to victory in Michigan. They're trying to mobilize, find a way to mobilize some other community that might save them because they've already given up. Well, you know, you do have the option of just not backing the genocide anymore. You do have the option of sanctioning Israel at the UN, condemning what they're doing. You do have the option of not being a genocidal freak. You do have that option. But no, they're not going to take it. Instead, they're either going to ban Muslims at their event, full stop, or they're going to single out ones who they have some reason to think are going to disrupt and protest. 
Look, I, I, look. It's, it's an ironic conclusion, but I think it's unavoidable that all these people who are protesting at the Biden events, they are the warning sign, Joe. They are the ones who are like iceberg dead ahead. You know, you think these people want Trump to win? No. They know he's in favor of the Muslim ban. They know his policies were horrible vis-a-vis -vis the Muslim community. They don't want Trump to win, but they want you to stop supporting the genocide. And that would help you in your re-election, but no. See, that's the thing. There, like, any sort of good faith, substantive disagreement, even on the most serious of issues, is viewed as like, this is beyond the pale, this is unacceptable, we're not even allowing you in the event. Think about that. Because we always hear this talk, oh my god, the Democrats are a big tent party, right? Oh, it's a big tent. You got all people, you got conservative Democrats all the way to centrist, to center-left, to leftist Democrats. Like, oh, it's a big tent party, big tent party. But apparently it's not. Because the second somebody takes a correct lefty position against aiding a genocide, now that's beyond the pale. We're going to kick you out because we think maybe you'll protest because you're Muslim. Man, imagine blowing through this much goodwill. Imagine blowing through this much goodwill all to support the, kill the carpet bombing of 13,000 children and 33,000 Palestinian civilians. Imagine being that loathsome, being that grotesque, being that much in your own bubble that you refuse to hear even the most honest good faith criticism you could imagine. That's where we are. That's where we are. So look, I'll keep my eye on this. My suspicion is, and maybe I'm being naive here, maybe I'm being too kind. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in due time. My suspicion is the Biden-Harris people do have uh, basically double agents who have infiltrated pro-Palestine groups. And so they know who's part of those groups and who's likely to protest for Gaza. And that's why they're singling out certain Muslims on that front. That's my guess. Having said that, is it possible they've done a, yeah, just no Muslims rule? It's certainly possible. And how ironic that we're talking about this vis-a-vis -vis Biden. Biden. I'm not talking about Trump, you were talking about Biden. Amazing. All right, guys, that's the show. I love you all very much, as always. Everybody do me a favor, please click like, click subscribe. Uh, helps out so much in the algorithm, doesn't cost you anything. We want to continue to grow the community here. We're going to get to 2 million subs and then 10 million subs, and we want to chase down Mr. Beast. Um, you grow one at a time, baby, one at a time. So hook a brother up with a sub. A uh, massive thank you to everybody who supports the show on Patreon. That link is below if you'd like to do so. You could also tip on YouTube with the thanks button. I'd really appreciate that as well. Remember, I've never had a conversation with an advertiser. You guys help build this show from the ground up. And again, I have nothing but love and affection in my heart for you if you've uh, supported this show along the way. And that's all I got for you guys, man. Love y'all very much. We have RM Brown, uh, one of my favorites, on Crystal Kyle and Friends this week. I'm really looking forward to that. And I will talk to all you guys tomorrow. Peace. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.